Hi friends, this is Audi1 and you're watching part 5 of the SQL Lab series. For those who are watching this for the first time, it is strongly recommended that you go back and watch the other four parts. The links are given in the description below. So let's start. In the first four parts, we started with the installation and then we moved on to dump the database by help of error-based SQL injection using union select and commenting out the remaining part of the query. In this part, we would continue further and try to do it in another way where we will not use any comments but we will try to balance the extra quotes. Let's do it. On the lesson one, a single quote broke the query. So instead of giving the comments out, we just need to fix it. We can do it in two ways. We can use either an OR statement or an AND statement. So this time I'm just providing a quotes on the left side because we are already assuming that there is a quote on the right side inside the query that the developer has put in. Let's see. It works. everything is working with or statement it just took that part or this part to validate it so we were not seeing the refreshing username and password on the screen once we have this let's try our order by as we did that in the previous uh, chapter try to guess how many columns are being used by the developer. So let's say order by one. Nothing happens. Order by three. Nothing happens. Order by five. Nothing happens. If you remember, our database is having maximum three columns from what we enumerated in the previous videos. Even if we say order by 50, still it doesn't work. So a constraint, order by does not work if you are not using comments. Then what is the way? In this case, we have to do a kind of a trial and error or you can say a kind of a brute. How? We can just say union select one and see we get an error if you remember in the previous videos we had discussed that with the union statement the left side of the the left statement and the right statement should have same number of columns that is why we were trying to guess columns by order by clause but in this case the left side presumably has and as we know three columns so right side is having just one let's try three then one comma two comma three and it works let's try four again a failure that means that our database or the query being used by the developer has three columns. Again, we will invalidate the first part and we see two and one on screen. Is it this one? I doubt. 
let's change the one to five and let's change two to something like ten so okay we got ten on the screen but one is still there from where is this one coming any guesses if you just see this statement it just says select 1 comma 2 comma 3 for example and 1 so this 3 is being evaluated along with 1 and the output is being referred to because and 1 is giving you a kind of a true statement a boolean so will always return 1 means a true so that means effectively we just have one column to dump what we want so we can just do the same way the database name is security we can similarly dump the version so we got the version we can dump the current user it's again the same route at localhost we can also use the version data dir so nothing changes till now apart from we were using the comments this time we are just balancing out the remaining of the query we could have also used one equals one just for some who might be getting confused that why i didn't use it's the same thing but what changes here the problem here is as this third column is being evaluated with this and so we cannot terminate it on this and what I mean is let's do an example and explain as we learned in the last time that we say table underscore name now we have to do it here from from information underscore schema dot tables and you see the error popping up somehow I have observed that using the from statement does not work well when we have an and to terminate with a limit so this kind of injection becomes trivial so in this case we cannot use the info being dumped by the database to extract information or we cannot force the database to dump the information we want instead we are only relying on the mysql errors the mysql errors are very flexible or mysql in itself is very flexible and does not give out much information in the error as some other DBs do
so in in that case we would continue further in the next video and explain the double injections sometimes also referred to as blind injections but i would say that as we will be using the mysql error statements to dump the database quickly so we can call them partially blind partially error based type thank you very much for watching please leave your feedback it would help me to motivate myself to prepare more videos and improve myself thank you very much bye for now